Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the Shmo channel. I'm um, here, I'm um, driving. Never vlogged what I was driving before. Um, I'm, I'm on my way to go run right now. But um, I've taken some pictures of, of, of where I go run at, but I've never taken any videos, so I thought I'd bring you on me today. I'm not actually going to run with you, but I'm going to show you some of the spots where I take a break and drink water at and to calm myself, real soothing and whatnot. Um, and also, I want to thank everybody for watching my videos on my channel, the Shmo channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it's real easy. You just get a YouTube account, set up your account, um, get on there and subscribe to my channel, and you could win something possibly. Um, I'd like to give away prizes for people that subscribe to my channel because I appreciate you um, for showing interest in my crazy ways. I'm trying to park now. I'm just going to park. Um, anyways, people out here barbecuing. Looks good. It's a nice, beautiful day. Um, this is where I stop right here. I'm going to warm up. Do a little stretching. A little working out before I work it out. Yeah, stretch, little stretch. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. That's not the extent. Oh, yeah. Also, thank you for watching my mustache adventures. I had a lot of fun doing them. Uh, that mustache was out of control, it was getting in my mouth, um, it totally changed my persona and the character that I am, but I loved it, it was so fun, um, I did a lot of crazy things with that mustache, um, I didn't give any mustache rights, um, but I still had fun with it, um, I went, I went here, I went there, I had some crazy mustache adventures for those of you who tuned in, thank you very much again, um, but now it's gone. And it feels real good. I have my little goatee back. I'm going to let my goatee get big again. Um, I really like the way it feels when I have a goatee. And I get to do this and play with it when I'm thinking. And like rub it. And Oh, I miss it. Um, so it's going to be good. It's going back. It's a little baby. It's a little baby. It's a little baby. It's a little baby. little bird. But it's going to grow quick. You see. Uh, you'll see. Notice it today. And about give me 30 days. And it'll be like boom, 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 boom. French fries, tartar sauce. It's going to be gross. Um, just So just tune in. Keep tuning in. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to show you some footage of this of my running today. I'm not going to run with you because it's hard to run and film at the same time. Um, but one day, you know, I'll have somebody follow me. That would be kind of cool. But today, I'm just going to show you the spots. I have a secret little location that I'm going to reveal to you all today where I like to stop and sit. And all you can hear is the water. And it's so soothing. It's like having a little machine next to your bed to sleep next to. It's amazing. So I'm gonna show you that. So uh, check okay, it out. everybody. I said I wasn't gonna try it, but I'm gonna try it. I want you to run with me. Run, run with me. Run with me. Feel it? Did you feel that burn? Yeah, I felt that burn, right? Oh, it feels so good. Oh, it feels so good. For those of you, I didn't know the running was going to be exhilarating to me until I started running. Rest in peace, Amy. I love you. Um, Amy Sosetta, deceased now, good friend of mine. Um, rest, her, rest her soul. I miss her. Anyways, she got me into running. And I was just trying to impress her. I thought she was a cool chick. I thought she was beautiful. I think she had a boyfriend. I just wanted to run with her. I told her I ran. I lied. But it was a white lie because I just wanted her company. And I'm glad we did because out of that, we became real good friends. Um, and she showed me that this could be the most exhilarating feeling in the world. And when you're, when you're up there on your top speed, 
and you feel good and you're just like strutting and you're running and you're running that's what it's all about get out there run baby run run okay guys I'm up on my two and a half mile away park in this is where I stopped to drink water um there's this tree that never dies I mean you know how all the trees in Texas shed their leaves and they come back in the fall or in the summer actually um but these guys I don't know what kind of tree it is um but it's beautiful never loses its leaves it's like the best tree in the world to me I just love it here it is check it out so plump it's so delicious so like well rounded if I was like a tree I'd be this tree's bitch Anyway, this is where I stop to drink water. I hug it. I'm, I, as y'all know, I waste a lot of paper at work. Um, so, as much as I can, I say sorry to the trees. So, why don't you hug this tree with me and let's be tree hugging hippie motherfuckers together? All right, here we go. Hey, tree of life. Come and say what's up. I can see what's up. That's why I, I rub it, chon chon. The tree, chon chon. How's it going, Papa? You doing good? Smack that. Smack it. Smack it. Oh. Anyway, I love this tree. Let's get some water. Gatorade. It's not Gatorade, it's just water. Let's check this out. Can you see those ants? Those sugar ants. I used to eat those when I was a little kid. You just get a collection of them on your finger. So, can you see them? I'm gonna get some more. Bunch of them right here. Okay, get a collection. Then you just <laughs> okay. Apparently, your taste buds are a lot different when you're a kid because that tastes like shit. Um. Anyways, so this is where I stop. Um. Still got that shadow from the tree. The tree of life gives life from afar. So. I got another mile or so to my secret spot and I'll show you some more footage. Today. Okay everybody, we're at my secret spot. Okay, uh, it's kind of tricky to get to this spot so that's why I know not too many people come to it. Um, but I love coming to it. It seems like I can leave things there and nobody gets them so I'm guessing I'm the only one. It's kind of tricky to get across the river because nobody wants to step in this river because it's nasty. But if you're a ninja like me, it's no problem. So. I'm gonna take you with me. Right here. Here you go. Check it out. You gotta find a way out of these rocks. Before I found out, I just don't think about it. I just do it. And but my ninja mind just tells me which rocks to step on. I'm just going, guys. I'm just going. I'm just going. Ninja rocks! Ninja rocks! Boom! Hey, then you have to go through this foliage somehow or another. We're gonna pick this spot right here. Yeah, woo! Check this out. Ninja rocks. Pull it up. Ninja rocks. Oh. I just jumped across all those rocks. With my backpack in hand. And you in my hand. Anyways, I just come here. I just sit on this rock. Um, uh, put my things down right here. Sit right here. Listen to that, guys. Listen to that sound. You can't hear any cars. You pretty much can't hear any nature. All you hear is the water. It's beautiful, listen. I 
you turn around this way, it feels like you're, you're floating on water. Because the water's falling right there in front of you. See, it's, it dips right there. Oh, look, somebody's Bill Miller's cup. I'm not going to say that anybody littered. It probably just washed down from somewhere. But whoever did it, throw that in the garbage. Thank you for fucking up Texas. You piece of shit. Anyways, if you stand up without your shoes in the water, which I had done several days, it feels like you're Jesus and walking on water because it's literally that deep right there. So your foot sticking out of the top of the water. It looks like you're walking on water. It's real cool. But, pumping out a lot of water. Oh. And I've been coming here for a little over two years now. And I have never, ever, ever seen anybody else in this area. Look around. Look around. Nobody. Nobody. There's a house up there, but nobody ever comes out. Never see anybody. Think it's vacant. Nobody. Yeah, so I'll sit here for like 20 minutes, collect my thoughts, think about directions and what to do next. And pretty much just relax. It's a good spot. Mm, thanks. I'm gonna catch my breath. See you in a little bit. Woohoo! Check that out. Bear County. 176 million to restoring our river's future. 110 acres of restored habitat, habitat, 8 miles of river length, 13 acres of embayments. That is sweet. Should be 176 billion dollars though. Come on man. For real Texas? Y'all give away more money than that weekly on lottery tickets. Why can't we get fucking 176 billion? for a restored river. Come on, San Antonio. Step it up. 176 million? We'll take it, I guess. Um, stuff should be finished by 2012, I read. But that's one year away, and from the looks of it, they've got a long, long way to go. Um, I don't see them getting this done in seven months, eight months. But we'll find out. You never know. <laughs> the willpower of 10,000 Mexicans. What do you call 10,000 Mexicans on a roof? Jingles! Ha! Stupid. It's stupid, though. It's stupid. Alright, guys. Finished my run. Let's stop at this little place, the Futria, that has this awesome pineapple juice here. That's only a dollar for a big cup like this. That's real pineapple. Uh, chunks get stuck in the straw. Oh, it's so good. Of course, it's too much. You can never finish as much pineapple juice, but whew, after a long run, it feels so good. I can't even like drive. I have to stop. This is that's the side of the building. I guess that's where somebody tagged. Oh, so I'm like, literally parked on the side of the building. So I can enjoy this because it's so good. Ah, so good! All right, thanks. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, this is gonna be the end of the video for today. Um, hopefully, I'll put up another video in a couple of days. If not, um, just keep looking. All right, don't look. Either way, I hope you're addicted by now. Please be addicted. I'm like candy. Okay, bye.